change project and the whole purpose of this project besides being a, uh, a design exercise is to work on one of our basic art fundamentals which is balance and uh, balance here we're going to balance out um, the letters that we use and the symbol that we use and the amount of black and white that's in the design so if we just start with the counter change handout so you have to make a list of hobbies or interests that you uh, should be simple shapes that are easily recognizable because no one's gonna you know confuse the outline of a bell with the outline of a banana so it's, it's you know there's shapes out there that people easily recognize you're going to draw a layout of the letters and the space provided so that the letters take up as much space as possible this is important that these letters are as big as they possibly can be in your formatted area that you're going to use draw a shape on top of the letters as big as possible shade in the background behind all the letters in the shape so that you have to go to figure C to to see that uh, figure B is the letters and here's the shape of a heart on top of the letters figure C says shade in everything that's the background that's everything in this design that's not a letter or not the heart gets shaded in well this is the background area behind the letter B so it gets shaded in so you're going to shade in and figure C directions everything that's the background and if it is the symbol or the letters don't touch it the last step is to go in and everywhere that the letters overlap the symbol you're going to color those in so you can see these parts of the letter B have been colored in because they're on top of the heart and this part of the letter B is colored in because it's part of the background and then when you're done there's an equalness here or a balance between how much black is in this design and how much white is in this design how much the letters are in the design and how much the symbol is in the design so in the old days you might see a scale that would look like this and have a little basket hanging off of one end a little basket hanging off the other end and there'd be some objects over here and there'd be some objects over here and if they were the same weight they balanced out so that's the kind of idea that we're talking about here when we're talking about balance we want an evenness and equalness um, between those items uh, if you have a composition and everything in your design is over here on this side and this is left empty well that's an unbalanced composition and people are wondering why isn't there something over here it looks unbalanced so balance is an important uh, one of our uh, vocabularies and and um, uh, of describing art so the first step is once you have made your list and you start drawing your letters is to actually draw letters so let's talk about drawing the letters you want to draw your letters as big as possible and these letters that we're going to use are going to be stick letters so if we're a block letter so if we drew the letter a like this and now we want to turn this letter a into a block letter well, we can just go outside of those lines a little bit and put those original lines this is the original line for the a and we're going to put it inside and we're trying to make this distance and this distance and this distance and this distance the same so here there's the bar that goes across the letter a and we put a line on either so if we erase all of that that we didn't need at the end now our stick letter is turned into a, a block letter sometimes the letter a might be done this way so it takes up even more of the rectangle that we're using for our letters some of you may want to do uh, bubble letters and if you do a bubble letter they just can't touch and overlap one another if you have bubble letters they have to be apart from one another so again all of these types of letters are as big as they possibly can be and are going to fill up our compositional area they want to make them as big as possible 
so that they take up as much space as possible. This is going to help with our balance at the very end. You would say that uh, you know these letters are the bubble letters, or if these same letters were filling in um, our space as block letters, they are as big as they can be. And I, ideally, this could be even a little bit bigger. Because we want to try to think about the thickness between this area and this area and keep those same thicknesses throughout all the letters. That if you were to go out, now this is a little thinner over here, so we might do some work to make those areas a little thicker. And that's why we do all of our lines really lightly so that they erase really well. All right, so when we go to start this project, you're going to need to come up with three sketches. Now here's a sketch just like the handout with the same letters. These letters all could be a little bit thicker. All of these letters here could be a little bit thicker. All right, but it's a sketch. So when you look at it when you're done, go, okay, I think that's going to work, but I need to make these letters a little bit thicker. Uh, you could do it vertically. You could stack your letters this way. Here's a surfboard symbol on top of the letters. Here's a Christmas tree or a tree symbol on top of the letters. The first step is to color in everything that's the background and then you go to everywhere on the letter where the letter and the, and the object overlap and you color those areas in. This is going to be left alone because it's the open part which would normally be the background but it's on top of the symbol so you're going to leave it alone because you can't color both of them in or you won't see the letter R anymore. So there's sometimes that you have to Go through this slowly in your coloring in process to get that figured out. After that's done, you're going to take your sketch paper, the same paper you do your sketches on, or a different paper, and you're going to use the ruler, and you're going to draw a line. You're going to turn the ruler, draw a line, and you're going to put this frame on your paper. This framed area here then needs to be divided up into thirds, and this is the area that you're going to use to make your letters in, to make your letters as as big as possible and then you're going to use all of this area out here to draw your shape or your symbol. And again I'm using the heart you, 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 need, you need to pick your own symbol but this is just a simple now this heart probably could come out here a little bit more and that would be a little bit well balanced. It's going all the way across from side to side and we get rid of this line and that lets you know exactly you know what your you can work out all your design concepts on this once you have this done you can show it to me and i'll give you the official paper to do this project on have fun